tuned in for Balola on marriage and relationship matters. We are here again tonight, and in the studio with me is no other person but my, my wonderful and beautiful, elegant yeah. Eunice Oji. Eunice, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is everything? How is life generally? Well, life is good. We are alive. Yeah, we, we know we are alive. No cause to complain. That. Father will give you all the glory. Oh, yes. So, we just say... Other things, other things. You know? We'll be sorted out. By the grace, By the of, grace God. of God. Well, we have been on this matter of the ripple effects of divorce and separation. Now, by God's grace, we will continue with the same topic tonight, but with a slight difference. And um, we are going to a little bit digress or divert to the psychological, the emotional, the, the financial effect on the woman and the man that is involved in divorce or separation. And I know tonight will be an interesting night. By the grace of God, you will not be disappointed. Eunice, what do you think? Yes, um, divorce has so many effects on, it affects everybody in general. Of course. It affects the children, affects the men, affects the woman. Mm. And sometimes I wonder if they know the effect of this divorce. Because if you look at it, I don't think they will want to get divorced if they know how badly the woman or the man will be also affected. Okay. You have a situation, somehow I believe it affects the men the more. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? They just pretend and cover up. But we, we, we can control ourselves more than... That's we. what you think. It's not a matter of being able to... Well, the man tries to be macho. Yeah, he uses other things to, mm -hmm, cover, to cover up. Yeah. You find a man that is just divorced going into the world, but actually he's going into the world, he's not going into the world because he's free. He's trying to cover up. He's looking for of course, something of course to, you have to, cover to fill the void. Mm -hmm. That's why you find them moving around with different women, but it's still emptiness for them. Some of the men feel castrated. It's like mm -hmm. they don't feel like they are men any longer. They feel that what they've worked for. How about the all women? These years. How about the women? Uh, I'm, I'm, let's yeah. talk about the men. Then we can go to the women. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. well, but majorly women are the one causing this thing. Why, why do you think <laughs> women are the one? You want us to go into that debate? No, no, no. You won't win, no. You said? You won't win if we go no, into that no, debate. No, no, I'm not saying we should go into the debate, mm -hmm. but uh, if, you, if, you, if you go into it realistically, mm -hmm. you will discover that. Uh, the majority of the divorce or separation that we have were mostly caused by women. No, I don't believe that. Okay. I can apportion the blame both ways. Excuse me. You see, in Africa, the man is, he tries to portray that thing that the Bible says that the man is the head. Yeah, the man are. is in control. We are. So the woman doesn't really have that power because she believes she's beneath the man. And that's what culture and tradition has made the woman. That's right. So you can't say it's the woman. If you see a woman reacting, it's where the man has placed her and what the man has made her. Okay. Then she reacts. Okay. And when she reacts, you now say it's the woman that causes it. She's reacting to something. Let me give you an example. A woman that all her life does not know how to be happy in a marriage. A woman that all her life does not know what sexual satisfaction is. There's nothing in marriage for her. She, she will now move towards her children and forget about the man. Then the man feels neglected. But if you have a situation where the woman is happy, you won't see the woman calling for divorce. Who doesn't want a, a crown on top of her head? Who doesn't want to be taken care of? Who doesn't want to be inside the house and the man is doing like everything bringing the money and she's playing the role of a wife it's because things have gone they are in disarray there's misjoint so it seems as if the woman is crazy why is she reacting after all i provide everything you need which is money but marriage is not about money the woman needs you in the house the children need you in the house but if it's one-sided, the woman will be shouting now. So what, 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 what are the, the, the effect, the side effect now when there is separation or when there is divorce? When there is divorce, sides? on both sides, yeah. one, 
there's um, for the man the financial aspect might not be there except if it's a woman that is providing for a woman she's now burdened with the load of providing for herself maybe from the onset she's not a provider maybe she wasn't working now she has to provide for herself she has to face the stigma of being divorced if a man, no matter how beautiful she is the fact that she's once married any man that sees her would think twice about taking her in again as a wife societal stigma is there then she has to take care of her children alone frustration you know when you put all these things together of course she'll be frustrated she will be lonely depression will come into it she's now in a different league she's not among the singles she's not among the, the married she's not even in between <laughs> so all these things uh, in some places even when she looks she's looking for something from government she's deprived because she's not married for one they will say uh, are you married no uh, well, I'm divorced then there will be comma hmm. I've been to an embassy before even me they rejected me visa because I wasn't married hmm. so these things play into the emotion and the psyche of a woman the same thing with the man the man feels like his identity is stolen from him some men like that power of being married having their children around them and you know most times when there's a divorce the children go mostly to the women then the man finds himself in the industry of being single. Bachelor once again. Who cooks for him? Yeah. Who helps him? He, Nobody. So he's hanging. Uh, then he runs after women to try and fill the void. He can never be happy. When you've lived with a woman for a long time, there's no way you will not miss something about the woman, except she, if her name is Jezebel. So he's thrown into emptiness. He's not single. He's not married, he's not a bachelor, he's a binto, tukumbo. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's, he'll be confused, mm. he'll be frustrated, and even the next woman is in trouble. Because he will start hating every woman with the experience of what he's had before. So the effects are, there are many. There are many, many, many. The man feels as if they've taken his manhood away from him because his children are his power. They are the seed that he put forth, and he's seen but, them but, but some men are careless about this. They, are, they don't care. They just put up a face that they don't care. Most of them die inwardly, inside. That is why some of them, when they see that wife somewhere, they get so jealous, they want to kill her. It's like you put me in this situation, and you think you can enjoy another man. Some will take her seat and bat the woman, so that no man will look at the face of that woman again. Hmm. So it's, it's, it's a dangerous game to play, divorce. Like okay, I said, okay. if you can, if it can be avoided, let there be no divorce. Is, is, it possible, is it possible for divorce to be avoided? Is it possible? It is possible. You know, I used one statement. And when I got home, I said they might misconstrue what I said about not building the whole of your web around a particular person even your husband why so that you can give the man or the woman space to breathe understand yourself understand the man then you'll be able to cohabit you'll be able to live but if you build everything around your man you can't survive without the man there will be friction because at a stage the man wants to be free he wants to do something different you too you want to do something different you can't keep pursuing him all over the place if you have a life of your own even inside the marriage I'm not saying don't love but, you. You but, can but, love but the man. Some men, some mm -hmm. men out there 